Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the channel where today we do what? Today we solve a number of examples. So examples, the, the, one, uh, the things that we've studied till now, uh, so we've studied the cost of electricity, we've seen the plant characteristic factors, some basic things, some basic definitions that we've seen, we've seen about tariff. So we'll try to see a combination of them. So we'll have a number of examples. I will give the heading over here is economic load dispatch, for instance, or economic analysis economic analysis let it be so let's say the first question example number one the annual load duration curve of a power system follows the straight line characteristics between peak load of 30 megawatts and off peak load of 5 megawatts so the load curve is given like this this is the annual load curve if this is the time axis this is a power in megawatts so this is between 30 and 5 and this is a straight line like this over a year and so these are the time in hours 8760 fine <clears throat> Okay, this is the annual load curve, right? So 8760. The total installed capacity of the generation station within the power system is composed of five units, each rated at 10 megawatts. So the installed capacity of the station would be what? You have five units, each of 10 megawatts. So five multiplied 10 would be 50 megawatts would be the installed capacity of the station. Find the average load. The average load we denote by by p find the average load the installed capacity pc units consumed annually e in annual load factor fld so these are the things that are unknown out of which pc we have done now the average load on the power station would be what it would be average of the minimum and the maximum so the minimum is 30 the maximum is 30 plus the minimum is 5 upon 2 35 upon 2 would be 17.5 17.5 megawatts is the is the is the average load on the power stations the units generated annually are the area under the curve so the area under the curve for instance i name this point as o this as a this as b and this as c so what is the and for instance this as d so the area under the curve would be the energy units o a b c this whole area would give me the energy units energy units are by the area OABC and what is OABC so it is a combination of the triangle uh, the rectangle what rectangle OABD plus the triangle BDC BDC so this implies what that my energy units would be the time in hours is this one is 8760 multiplied with what multiplied with 5 uh, in megawatts yes so I would uh, yes say let's say this is in megawatt hours so this is 5 and then you have a plus so 1 over 2 for the triangle this would be 30 minus 5 would be 25 and this is again 8760 what are the energy units this comes out to be uh, 0 uh, no wait 153300 hours or one double five one five double three double zero into 10 to the power 3 kilowatt hours so kilowatt hours is a proper definition of energy units so we are done with the energy units also now the uh, FLD so the load factor the load factor FLD is the, by definition the energy units divided by the maximum demand into time let's say we have the energy units 15300 in megawatt hours so this also in megawatts 30 into 8760 this comes out to be 0 0.583 or 58.3 percent right yes sir so this is done similarly you can find out the plant uh, uh, utilization factor is obtained by multiplying what 
so similarly the FC is the plant capacity factor you can also find the capacity factor is FC which is E divided by the installed capacity into time so you can have 15300 divided by installed capacity is 50 into 8760 and this would come out to be 0.35 or 35% now have a look uh, the utilize the use factor you cannot find out from here why because uh, you don't have that uh, the time for which it is operational so the utilization factor you can find out is the utilization factor would be the ratio of 0.35 that is the capacity factor and the load factor 0.583 this comes out to be 0.6 or 60% right this is also the ratio of the maximum demand and the installed capacity the utilization is also the maximum demand to the installed capacity ratio is that clear it is example number two this was example number one example number two states what the load duration curve of a power system is a straight line between the maximum of 100 megawatts and a minimum of 20 megawatts. So have a look. It's the same sort of a figure. You have the same sort of a figure if this is the time. This is the power in megawatts. So you have 100 megawatt maximum, 20 megawatt minimum. It's a straight curve. Annual. 8760. I'll wait for the azan to complete okay so this is this is the load curve shown what do we have next this load is supplied by two power station a and b having the following cost models so we have two cost models for instance a we have a station that is providing it at 2100 per kilowatt of the maximum demand per annum and plus rupees 22 per kilowatt hour station b has what station b has 600 per kilowatt per annum plus rupees 24 per kilowatt hour these are the cost models consider station a applying the base load so station a is supplying the base load let the base load be somewhere till here for instance, this is the, the, the limit that station A is supplying this base load, station B is supplying this uh, peak load. So what do we have is the units consumed annually, find the units consumed annually. The system load at which B should run in parallel with A. So which means this point is unknown. So the station load, let's say P at which A and B run in parallel which means this load and the, this they would have na named it something not named it over here I will go with the stepwise anyways the installed capacity of each station the installed capacity of each station and uh, uh, B has a reserve capacity of 20% installed capacity B has 20% reserve and, and the annual load factors of the two station and the capacity factors load factors FLD and the capacity factors FC so uh, let's say first of all if we talk about the peak and the off peak load so the peak load is 100 the off peak is 20 so the average load on the station is what the average load on the station average load P would be 100 plus 20 upon Two, so this would be 60 megawatts is the average load on the power station the time of operation of both the plants so have a look if this is the time if this is the time for which both of these would run station B would also run station A would also run so this I would show you a simpler one a shortcut over here the shortcut is what you have the fixed charges so subtract the time uh, time for which B would run is what the fixed charges 2100 
minus the next fixed charges 600 divided by the difference of the running charges 24 minus 22 this comes out to be 750 so which means this point this point is 750 which means the time for which the station B would run annually is 750 hours right yes the units of energy consumed annually by are obtained by the area obtained uh, the area you know uh, covered by the two so the total energy units uh, the total energy units uh, is consumed annually by the load okay the total energy units consumed annually by the load are this total area so which means what if they divide it into uh, uh, you know a number of blocks for instance so let me name this as O this one as A this one as B this one as C this one as D this one as E and this one as F so O A B D O A B D are the total energy units consumed so total E consumed by the load are what? By the area covered by what? Area OA. OAB. OABD. OABD. And, and this OABD they have divided it into the rectangle OABF and then the triangle which is equal to the sum of the area of the rectangle OABF plus the area of the triangle FBD plus the area of the triangle FBD isn't it like this uh, it is it is so let me do this so have a look this one is 8760 and this one is 20 so 8760 multiply 20 this is for the uh, rectangle and for the triangle would I would have 1 over 2 uh, and this would be 100 minus 20 is 80 and 8760 80 and 8760 so the energy units comes out to be what 525600 525600 and in megawatt hours or you can write it in terms of kilowatt hours as 525600 into 10 to the power 3 kilowatt hours Ex excuse the shadow over here I'm sorry. So these are the total energy units supplied. These are the total energy units consumed annually. So this is E is done. Now what do you have? What do you have? Now I need to find out this. So if I name this as Y. So if I name this as Y this. 100 to E I name it as Y and the remaining down here I name as X. So X would be the installed capacity of what? X is the power that is being supplied by the base station A and Y is the power that is being supplied by the peak station B. Right? Yes. So what do I have? What do I have? So I would just uh, uh, go for the similarities of the triangles. Consider this small triangle and this overall big triangle. So similarities of triangles. Similarity of triangle. And which triangles are you comparing? DEC, DEC and triangle, the bigger one, DO. O A D O A D so have a look this implies what that this Y this Y upon the whole side so Y upon 100 Y upon 100 and this is equal to the other two sides so for instance this upon the whole this side so this is what this is the time this one 750 hours and divided by what 750 divided by total horizontal axis is 8760 so this comes out the y value comes out to be 6.85 megawatt 6.85 megawatts which is the what which is not the installed capacity for B for now. Why? Because B has a reserve capacity of 20%. 
right so from here you can also find x so x is what it's 100 minus that thing so x would be x would be 100 minus 6.85 and this comes out to be how much 93.15 so if this is 93.15 which means that this point is 93.15 so the power at which the station b has to run in parallel with station a is 93.15 megawatts is that fine it is now the installed capacities so the install capacity so this this is the install capacity of station a yes x so this x is equal to pc this x is equal to the install capacity pc of station a right similarly this y you would say is the install capacity of station b but it has a 20 percent reserve so which means it's 6.85 plus 0.2 of 6.85 and this comes out to be 8.22 megawatts now i'm telling you again and again do check the calculations okay so install capacities are done i don't have time over here to to go for a calculator and do this so i've done this previously and i'm just writing it over here so these are the installed capacities now the next is what the next is uh, the load factors so for the load factors we need the energy units because load factor is energy unit divided by maximum demand into time so the maximum demand will take it equal to the installed capacity but we do need the energy units so the energy units are first of all delivered by station a so energy units delivered by station a are o a b wait i will check over here a area bounded by the region o a b c e o a b c e yes so energy units are the uh, are the area bounded by o a b c e now whatever approach you want to apply i would like to take the whole energy units i would like to take the whole energy units and i would subtract this from it so will it not give me yes it will give me so have a look i have got the total energy units which is the total energy units e minus minus the area this which is being supplied by b so e d c minus the area of the triangle e d c so this gives me what have a look i have the total energy units five two five six double zero minus half of minus half of uh, y is what 6.85 uh, into into what into 750 do the calculations what does this come out to be this comes out to be 523028 52 3028 is this fine uh, 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 so so you have to you know just check it for yourself this is in the megawatt hours similarly the energy unit supplied by a would be what the energy unit supplied by a is the area of this triangle half of uh, what y is what 6.85 and multiplied with x is what 750 this comes out to be how much uh, 2568 2568 megawatt hours so now you can find out the load factors so the load factor of station a would be do it by yourself ea upon the maximum demand of a into time so the time would be 8760 ea is given the maximum demand you would have this is the maximum demand from the figure the maximum demand is given which is 100 megawatts okay maximum demand is 100 megawatt so put the values in put in a also the maximum demand 100 in b also the maximum demand 100 this comes out to be 59.7 percent and the load factor for b comes out to be 0.29 percent right so so the load factors are done for the capacity factor you have what fca would be the energy units by a yes energy units by a divided by installed capacity of a into the time this comes out to be what uh, 64 percent for a and for b the capacity factor comes uh, out to be 3.56 percent 
Is that fine? It is. The next example is, let's say example number three. Determine the load, at, load factor at which the cost of supplying. So number three, determine the load factor at which the cost of supplying unit of electricity is the same as diesel and coal-fired power station if the respective annual fixed charges are this and that. So I have done this example in the previous video. We had this in the book. What does this state say? You have a steam engine. Let's say we have an engine A that is charging you 3200 per kilowatt of the maximum demand plus 20 per kilowatt hour. And we have a station B that is charging you 1000 per kilowatt and rupees 24 per kilowatt hour. So they are asking you for the for the load factor at which the two costs would be the same at which the two costs would be the same. So you can have a look for the cost model for A, for instance, I would name it as CA. So this would be 3200 into the maximum demand plus rupees 20 into maximum demand. Uh, e is equal to maximum demand into FLD into time. Right? Yes. So you can put the time equal to 8760. Similarly, the cost model for B would be 1000 into maximum demand plus 24 PM FLD into time. Now, they are asking you the cost. They are asking you FLD at which both costs are same. So which means the cost model CA is equal to CB. So put CA equal to CB and and then what do you have put CA equal to CB and then what do you have PM will cancel out put time equal to 8760 and you can find out the load factor and the load factor is what 6.27% 6.27% fine yes sir next example please let it be the last for this video let it be the last for this video. The annual load duration curve of a power system is shown. The power system is being supplied by two stations A and B having the following cost models. Let's say example number four. So this is shown like this. Time in hours, power in, in, in kilowatts this time. Power in kilowatts, this is 50,000. And this is the annual load curve. This is the annual load curve. This is being supplied by two stations, A and B. So station A has got the cost model as fixed charges 75,000 plus semi-fixed charges are 80 per kilowatt. And the variable charges are 0 0.02 per kilowatt hour. Station B has 50,000 fixed charges plus 50 per kilowatt of maximum demand plus 0 0.03 per kilowatt hour where station a is operating as the base load station and station b is operating as the peak load station so let this be the base load by a let this be the peak load by b fine it is fine next what do you have the, the determine the install capacity for each station the install capacity for each station for how many hours station B has to run in parallel with station B uh, or the hours for which the peak load station should run to give the minimum cost per unit generated. Hours for which B runs to give what? To give minimum cost. So these are the two things unknown. Let's get going. Let's suppose that the installed capacity of station B is Y and it delivers X hours per year. So let's say, let's say that this, this is Y, the installed capacity is Y. For instance, the installed capacity of B is Y and delivers, uh, and, and what? And delivers energy for X hours in a year. So, and works for x hours a year so this is the initial assumption 
Fine? Yes. Then the energy delivered EB, the energy delivered would be what? EB would be the installed capacity half of X into Y. Won't it be like this? It will be. Now, using the similarities of the triangles as we previously did. So, Y upon similarity of triangle implies what? That Y upon 50,000 is equal to x upon 8760 x upon 8760 so from here either take y or take x they have taken x over here so x is equal to 8760 times y divided by 50000 right yes sir substituting the value of x from this equation in that equation so put x over here so you will have eb in terms of y only you will have eb in terms of y only and that would be what eb would be half of 50000 eb wait 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 no 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 AB would be half of X, put the value of X. So this comes out to be, I will write the final value, or let it be like this, 8760Y divided by 50,000 into Y, so Y squared, and this EB comes out to be what? AB comes out to be 0 0.0876, 0 0.0876Y squared, in kilowatt hours this is the energy delivered by the peak load station eb similarly the peak the deli energy delivered by the base load station ea would be what ea would be uh, this whole energy under the curve the whole energy under the curve is one over two times 50000 into 8760 and minus minus the energy that is being supplied by B so this whole minus this thing so minus what minus this thing 0.0876 y squared yes yes sir what do we have further we can uh, specify uh, simplify it further as well this would be 219 into 10 to the power 6 minus 0.0 .0 876 y square okay so they from the load duration curve from the load duration curve the installed capacity of b is y i've already told you and the installed capacity of a the installed capacity of a would then be what that would be uh, 50,000 minus y 50,000 minus y isn't it like this it is in terms of kilowatts right yes so the cost models now the cost model i have the the cost model of, so i have the kilowatts for them and i have the kilowatt hours for them so do can i write down uh, yes i have a line maybe i have two lines so the cost model which means the cost model ca would be what it would be 75000 plus plus 80 into kilowatts so 80 and the kilowatts are this 80 into 50000 minus y and plus 0 0.02 and i have the kilowatt hours for a also which are this 219 into 10 to the power 6 minus 0 0.087 y squared so this is the cost model of a so you can uh, you know simplify it for yourself you can simplify it for yourself okay similarly the cost model for b cb would be what so you have 50000 at the fixed charges plus 50 multiplied by you have the kilowatts for b which are y and plus 0 0.03 and you have the kilowatt hours for b which are 0 0.0876 y squared so you have the cost models for both right therefore the total cost of operation the total cost of operation would be what you have the costs for both so the total cost of operation would be ca 
plus CB and this comes out to be do it for yourself please 8505 000 8505 000 uh, minus 30y plus 8.76 into 10 to the power negative 4y square now we are interested in what we are interested in the in the minimum cost we are interested in the minimum cost so for that for that we will do what for that we will take the derivative of this equation and we will equate it to zero right yes sir so let me just go a little stepwise so uh, for minimum yearly operating cost differentiate this with respect to y this is with respect to y let's say the total cost is represented by c so you differentiate c with respect to y and you up, you put it equal to zero so the minimum value of y can be obtained right yes sir so this comes out to be have a look negative 30 negative 30 and plus 17.52 into 10 to the power negative 4y and you equate this to 0 from here you get the value of y which is what 17123 kilowatts 17123 kilowatts is that fine yes so this y is what this y i have already told you is the installed capacity of b so the installed capacity of b should be this much so that you should have the minimum cost similarly from here then you can find the value of uh, x also so the number of hours the number of hours for which this operates number of hours for which this operates is x and this would be what uh, would be put it in this equation put it in this equation so you would have the number of hours as 3000 x would come out to be 3000 fine yes now from here you can have what you can have uh, the plant capacity of a also the plant capacity of a would be 50000 minus y whatever it is similarly you can have the energy units generated by both energy units of a energy units of b you can have both can you have any other thing you you can do it for yourself and similarly then you can find the load factors of a and b also load factor of a load factor of b let these be your homeworks right yes sir now i was telling you that i uh, went in a little detail in this problem when i was attempting my paper when i was attending my paper so i did it as in the previous video i named this as x i named this as y so x i found out directly from where now the question is finished over here okay so this i'm telling you something extra on my paper experience so I found out X by again by the similarities of triangle. So have a look. I, I put no no not from the similarities from the cost model. So X I found out by by what by the f difference of the fixed costs that is what 80 minus 50 and divided by the difference of the variable cost 0 0.03 minus 0 0.02 and this comes out to be exactly 3000 hours. So I've got the the hours directly now i i just finished this question in 10 minutes and and the people all were all saying uh, we have taken three pages to find value of x so this is how i found out the value of x again i believe it may have been wrong because i did not got the grade i was expecting but anyways so this was the value of x and then what you have uh, uh, y could be found out from the similarities of triangles so y upon 50000 D is equal to x i already got is 3000 which is x right and divided by 8760 so from here i can have the value of y which is exactly the same 17123 kilowatt and this is the installed capacity of station b installed capacity of station a and you can move on further with this so i did it like this directly so have a look three minutes two steps and over here how much time have you taken 
cost model, finding out the kilowatts for that, finding out the kilowatt hours for that, equating it to the cost models. So that was a lengthy process. Anyways, I believe this should be it for this video. See you in the next one very soon, inshallah, with I don't know whatever the topic may be. Till then, take care. Goodbye.